my back um it has been two days since my last vlog really just the last two days have been pretty mundane i haven't done a ton um i did get my hair done yesterday so i'm feeling fresh with my natural blonde hair and um that's been about it i have been waiting for like a slew of packages to come so i thought that would be fun to do some like fun unboxings but they're all stuck in transit somewhere which is nobody's fault um but it has hindered my plans for vlog, uh, not Christmas, the daily noodle. So I think a bunch of them are supposed to come today. In big news, tonight I'm supposed to have a craft night. Um, really, I have some wonderful friends who have volunteered to help me tag um, the hats with the little hug a noodle uh, things I got, but they are also in transit. Um, they're about an hour away at that post office and it says it's supposed to be here today and I just don't believe that to be true because I think they all have to pass through my town's post office. So tonight might just be a craft night and chill but um, we shall see. Um, yeah and then I'm also going to do a post office run today to pick up any stragglers and then I also have to get the hats together um, so we had a goal of uh, 200 hats so that I could do the same thing as I did last year which is provide some of my um, community members with handmade hats who may need them and we spoiler alert reached that goal and surpassed it so I need to get that together and yeah so today's gonna be a good busy day um, but the last two weren't worth watching, so that, that was it. All right, so partially sad news. I opened up the tracking for those hat tags and I saw that it was an hour away. So I went deeper into the abyss and I found that it was at one point at my local post office and then it went to this other one, which when this happens, it sucks. And it sucks because I really need to get these hats sent um so do they go tagless do do i wait another day i don't know i need this to be updated that's so annoying it was here three days ago very sad and i i don't know who to, i just sad all right today we got a lot of packages had to go to the extra box and a bunch of slips so that means way more packages this is actually crazy how many packages there are today. Um, I haven't picked up for about a week and it's insane. And I, I thank you, I just can't. Okay, whoa, okay, okay, okay. Gigantically huge news just went to the mailbox and um, maybe I have to blur that out because my address is on it, but the tags are here. The tags are here, this is epic. This means we can tag tonight with my little crafty crew and it's gonna be great. I I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm trying I'm on a like no drinking thing right now, just trying to give my body a little reset time after a really fun Thanksgiving. But tonight's gonna be a wine night. Oh my gosh. Okay. When I tell you that everything is in shambles right now, um, everything is in shambles right now. I just did the big old the hat thing and I'm not freaking out but there's a lot of hats um, but I did get two packages I thought I'd open so the tags are here when I, I talked to the guy at the mail office because I just wanted to make like understand a little better what was happening and basically when you have small parcels like this um, they get sent to the post even though the post office is right here they get sent an hour away because they this post office that's an hour away has this big machine that can sort all the parcels the small ones and they don't have the manpower at my place or the machinery to do that so makes sense I mail is crazy I, I don't understand so anyways these are the tags so this is from um, a company called Paper Sushi Co. and they do um, hat tags, they do personalized stamps, um, they do stamps for like the inside of sweaters, if you have like sizing or you want your logo, they just do, they do a lot for small business. And um, this is the package, I'm so scared. And here it is, Paper Sushi Shop. Um, 
and really cute paper. I ordered 200 of these, so let's pray that they look... Oh my gosh. They are so stupid cute. <gasps> they, they're these like beautiful little faux leather tags and they have the little noodle on them. So you, you fold them over the brim of the hat. It's all perforated. Ah, ASMR. You fold them over the hat like that. And they're gonna be so cute. Um, I got both silver rivets and gold rivets so that, oh my gosh. I cannot with how cute these are. Look, I'm gonna be like a, I don't think my camera's fancy enough to actually focus on anything, but how cute. So anyways, we are gonna get to tag hats today fully, which I'm grateful for because I have help to do it. And it's just gonna be great. So let me put that back in here. And then I got a little mini surprise package. Um, this is from Jake. This is from Jake. I don't know where to look, at Ken Yarn. And I think this is just a little fun uh, holiday gift. Um, yeah, we have a little, does smell good. We have a little group thread and I think everybody's actually located somewhere in the Northeast who's in this group thread, most everybody. So they've all gotten their packages and they've been talking about them without spoiling it for me. So all I know is that there's a sandalwood smell and he said that he was making it his personal responsibility for us to have like good smells around us or something. So, it's kind of heavy. There's the sticker. <gasps> okay. It's, wait, I'm so confused. Am I confused? I see, okay, okay. I think it's an incense burner. A resin incense, hold on, please hold. There's literally, and it is an Okay, please hold. There's a card. There's a card. <laughs> um, it's a really sweet little card. And Jake and I's dog, Fergie, have the same birthday. So automatically, we're related. But look at this. This is the incense holder. And I guess you just stick it right down in there. Should we try one? Ooh, it do smell real good, though. Mm. Mm. Again, with my problem of never having scissors, can I open it like a little pocky pack? Oh, I can! Maybe that would come in handy. Oh man, I haven't burned incense in so... Uh, this could be like Facetune. Ooh! <laughs> okay. So this is the incense holder. It's a resin one. And actually, I have a bookmark in the same, almost the same glitter. Um, this was, I got this at Rhinebeck from Jake. Um, it's a bookmark and it's beautiful. And these are on his website. So if you're interested, I love resin things. I love resin glitter things. I love resin glitter pink things. Um, so this is something he has on his site. I don't know if these are on the site, but these are look exclusivo for me. But um, I'll show you what it looks like. It's got all that good old chunky glitter. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Jake. I'll, I'll DM you because I don't know if you watch the Daily Noodle, but I'm living. What a great day. This went from chaos to excellent it very quickly. All right, I've got two friends coming over to help me tag a bunch of hats. Um, the tags from um, Paper Sushi Shop are so stinking cute. And the rivets fit that I picked, except that they're a little like more involved than I thought they were, but that's okay, they look beautiful. Um, this is the sample. I have, oh gosh, mediocre camera equipment, but that's it. So we're gonna have pizza, wine, hat tagging party, and it's gonna be great. from
Alright, so Megan and I are gonna start tagging. Elson's got a painting corner. <laughs> and the dogs are gonna be the foreman. And we're watching White Christmas. <laughs> that one you can't eat that. Hey! Good, good time. Almost a finished painting. <laughs> Imagine if I painted your camera. Imagine. Let's see. Wait, did you finish? Yes. Oh, that's what I'm telling you. B roll. Doges. <laughs> Don't do it. Hi, this is Future Sunny. I just wanted to say um, to close out the eighth. Um, after we boxed hats, uh, Megan went home, and then Ellison and I found a. We had been watching White Christmas because we saw White Christmas in person at a local theater and she had never seen the movie so we watched the movie and then Netflix suggested another Christmas movie and um we decided to watch it or like start it and what we ended up doing was just like at any major point we'd pause and we would guess what was going to happen or in the moment would just like guess what was going to happen and by guess I mean they're, they're so predictable but if you want to have a really fun time drink some wine and just make really good guesses at Christmas movies um, with someone fun because it was hilarious anyways that's the closing to this video bye